New at six, a new tick species has been found in southwestern Missouri near, Sp near Springfield. The Asian longhorn tick is an invasive tick that's tinier than most. Fox 2's Patrick Clark tells us more about this problem for cattle owners. Patrick? Yeah, Sandy, you know, tick season is getting longer and more severe here in the Show Me State. That's according to researchers in the Midwest. And now something more to deal with, the Asian long-haired tick. It's a tiny brown bug that's causing problems. It's been seen here in the Show Me State. Now, according to the CDC, it's not so much of a problem for humans, but it can cause disease with cattle. Longhorn ticks and their numbers are on the uptick across the country. They're, but they're, yeah, they're, they're diff, definitely different than what our, our typical ticks that we deal with, that we worry about are. Um, one is, is that they're a lot smaller. Um, a mature um, uh, uh, female tick is about the size of a, of a sesame seed. You know, so if you contrast that with the typical tick that we're used to seeing either on ourselves or, or our pets or, or livestock, you know, that are, you know, about the size of a pencil eraser or something like that, you know, these are a lot smaller, harder to see. Um, and, and uh, but but the other thing about them is, is that they reproduce rapidly. An Asian longhorn female can lay several thousand eggs and reproduce without mating. Pets, livestock, wildlife, and people are most at risk. As of July 31st, 2021, the Asian longhorn ticks have been found in the Show Me State. The fact that they're so small, so we they go unnoticed for for quite a while, uh, and, and so we don't just see these, you know easily observed ticks, you got to stop and, and look at your animals really closely to see that they got, you know, these little sesame seed sized ticks crawling on them. And so, so hey, they're probably easy to miss. The ticks native to East Asia are likely have come to the United States in 2017 aboard a ship where cattle was being moved. It's recommended that you use repellent such as DEET for your animals maintaining a flea and tick medicine and for livestock producers trimming grass in and around pastures. Yeah, we, yeah, we've definitely seen, you know, the more of the, of the common ticks we typically see, the deer ticks and the brown dog ticks and those types of things have been more prevalent as well. And, and so and, and then again, we're seeing these, these Asian longhorn ticks spreading, you know, even, you know, like I say, it was typically in the eastern U.S. Um, you know, I know it's been found in, in Arkansas now and in, in, in Missouri as well. Yeah, now typically you won't find these um, uh, worrying us humans, but instead livestock. And of course, for those owners of cattle, they won't find this until they're moving the livestock in the fall because right now they're out grazing in the pasture. The Asian longhorn tick, you want to keep an eye out if you've been out hiking or near tall grass and also check your pets and animals if you've been outdoors. In our Powers Insurance Bureau, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News.